so we're reconsidering uh, whether or not to let's help me out, clerks. We're here to we're reconsidering whether or not to add the yellow part, right, to G. And there's no debate. No, we we can debate. So if anybody would like to talk to this, I put it on in the amendment queue. I'll clear that queue. Anybody else? Anybody would like to speak to this, uh, Councillor Boyle? Yeah, so I'm just going to say that with some reluctance, um, I will uh, vote to remove the vacancy control piece. Um, I, I am really interested in seeing this project go forward, knowing the huge amount of work that we have to do um, to retrofit these buildings and to retrofit them so that they can remain affordable rental stock and not um, become demolished and replaced by by newer and more expensive housing. So I think it just feels like this stuck place where we need this housing to stay existing stock, um, but but meet our climate emergency commitments um, versus leaving it to continue to deteriorate. Um, I am disappointed that we can't uh, include vacancy control, considering it feels like a significant amount of money that we're putting into this. Um, and uh, I recognize um, that we need to pilot this and figure out what can be done. And um, and when we learn and prove what can be done, can move forward with an expanded program. So I, I will reconsider my vote in light of uh, the importance of figuring out how we can do this. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Councillor Swanson. I just clarify before Councillor Swanson speaks is that we're treating it like it's brand new. So it would be, uh, are we going to add the yellow bit or not? That that would be the reconsideration. Yeah, Councillor Swanson. So I'm voting for keeping the yellow bit in there. I think it's really important that that we have this program. I think it's really important that we work that when we work on climate change, we also work on equity. I think it's also really, really, really important that we don't jump to do whatever a lot landlord lobby group wants the minute they ask for it. I think we need to be independent. I think we could find somebody else to do it. I think we could do it in nonprofits where they have rent uh, geared to income. There's all kinds of other ways we could do it. Have other people than landlord BC administer it, and that's what I'd like to see. Okay, thank you, Councillor Swanson. Councillor Dejanova? Under, um, under our procedure bylaw, we have a section that, that talks about uh, the way that we address uh, specific proponents. And I understand that our staff are, uh, have recommended providing a $1.5 million grant. And I think it's a very serious accusation to say that they're providing it to a lobby group. So I just wanted to, Mr. Mayor, because our staff are making this recommendation, to ask you perhaps to rule on that. Okay. Uh, I would just say that Comment. it's 830. We've been here for a long time, and uh, language is a little perhaps uh, you know, less precise at this point. So if we can all just you know, stay on track and try to make it through this one. But uh, point taken. Thank you. Uh, on to Councillor Carr. Thank you. Um, well, I too am, uh, feel like I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. I really, uh, I voted for the vacancy control and I think Councillor Swanson should take um, some pleasure in noting that, that's, uh, that there was a positive vote on that. Um, so there is, uh, I think, interest in council in looking at that whole issue moving forward. Um, I really do want this program. I'm, I, I don't feel um, good about the withdrawal of the support of a, a, a or an organization that would be involved in this kind of retrofit programming um, based on uh, the need for vacancy control um, or the fact that we indicated the need for vacancy control. Um, however, it, it uh, we have heard loud and clear um, that there are a number of no, I'll just stop there. I don't feel good about that input, but I recognize that that input came in, and I am very keen to see this program go forward. I have for many years on this council been fighting for retrofitting of apartment buildings, and um, I think it is so important that we that we do that, that we not keep losing the purpose-built 
older rental apartment buildings that supply some of the city's most affordable housing. Um, so reluctantly, I'm going to, um, at this point, uh, vote against the amendment by Councillor Swanson in order to keep this program in place. Yep. Councillor Fry. Yeah, I'd uh, like to speak in support of uh, this motion, this amendment by Councillor Swanson. I want to just quickly read from the project description of this. The Energy Retrofit Plus Carbon Pilot, the project, is a joint demonstration and learning project of the Government of BC's Clean BC program in the City of Vancouver. The project will be supported by funding from the city and province and administered by Landlord BC. The goal of the project is to support landlords with key energy and building system upgrades while learning about the key types of support needed to minimize impact on tenants and maintain security of tenure while undertaking a range of major and minor reinvestment projects. I do not think that this amendment that Councillor Swanson has proposed is inconsistent with those objectives. I'm a little puzzled why Landlord BC feels that they would not be able to administer these public funds uh, in support of tenants. So I support this amendment. I think it's in the spirit of this project, and uh, I think it's really important to send that signal that we do think that vacancy control is part of, uh, you know, the security of tenure for tenants. So, thank you, Councillor Swanson. Hey, thank you. I don't see anybody else in the queue, so I'll call a vote on this one. Again, you're, if you want to add the yellow to uh, paragraph G, you vote yes. If you don't want to add it to paragraph G, you vote no. And that, uh, that amendment has failed uh, with Councilor Kirby Young, Bly, Dominato Boyle, Dejanova Carr, and myself in opposition.